www.newtoboss.com. My name is Ty. Uh, the video that I have right now is a tutorial on how you can create uh, a QR code or a quick response code that you can use or post to your website for people to get a download either your contacts or get to be connected to a different URL or maybe can download a phone number or can download an application uh, via FTP using QR codes. Um, the reason why you'd want to do that on desktop, as you know, if you're using Android, if you're using an iPhone, if you're using uh, some other phones in there, uh, almost all platforms or operating platforms for mobile has got a an application that you you can just download straight to your phone. I'm using QR code. I mean QR Droid on my Android, but sometimes if you're not on a desktop, you probably would want to use a different QR code maker desktop version. So what you'd want to do, uh, I mean what we would want to do right now is start off by opening up a web browser. So from there you'd want to type in QR code maker. Oh no, let me just erase that and show you the, the QR code maker or QR code reader that I have on an Android which is this QR droid there you go and it will prompt you Google Play right in there and it would look like that it's not a smartphone without a QR droid yeah I agree and let's go to its official website right here qrdroid.com all right, so we're here on the official website that it has got right here. So what you want to do is um, you can say scan, eco, generate, share, and shop. But you would want to download it to your uh, phone. Right here, just click on that. And it's going to ask you to install that either on iOS and on Android. But again, we would want to do a desktop version. So here, right on top, we've got something that says QR code generator. Just click on that. And it's going to launch this right here. Again, if you're using QR Droid on your phone, but you you, you can't get access to it right now, you just would want to do it on desktop version, you have to do it this way. Now you got URL in there. Let's say you would want to go to a new tab and type in your website new to boss.com we're gonna need this is our website by the way we're just starting out for the blog so maybe you could visit that and do click some likes in there and um, it would help us in some way copy the URL right on top and go back to QR droid right here got a URL so let's just use URL first and paste it here New to boss.com got 200 by 200 pixels that is the size of your uh, QR code I'm going to show you how a QR code would look like in case you're not familiar yet QR code would look like this there you go which you just have to scan I mean put your phone camera in there and it's going to scan that so it's asking you to give out a size for the 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 box measure or the the picture measure of your code. So let's give it out like a 200 by 200. You could amp that up to 350. Let's just try using the, the bigger size because we can just um, resize that using Photoshop or whatever software that you have. You got generate right here. It's gonna ask you to use a color. A uh, QR code right here, uh, commonly black, but sometimes you could do green, you could do red, depending on the color that you just choose from here. All right, so let's just stick that to zero 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 zero, which is an HTML color for black. Click on generate, and there you go. that is going to be your QR code if you have your mobile phone with you or smartphone with you I mean just try to open up a uh, QR droid and point that in there and just try to scan this and it's gonna take you to a website that would say nudaboss.com and 
in case you'd want to use this code to embed that to a website. Let me just create a website real quick for you. Notepad, uh, say HTML. Let's just try this. Uh, HTML. Oh, no, no, no. HTML. And try to paste the code here. All right. And just save it. Desktop. Just say um, index.html. Let's go down right here. Oh, sorry. I didn't enable extensions. One second. View. Well, name extensions. There you go. And open with Firefox. There you go. So it would look like that for your um, source code if you go to embed that to your website. If you'd want to resize that, let's try to edit that. Let's say uh, 350, 350. Let's try to make it one, probably 120, something smaller. 120, save it. And then try to load this. Right click, oops, sorry. Right click over this, open with Firefox. That's going to be a little bit smaller. Bigger, smaller, just depending. You, you know how to work on HTML codes. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, we have a separate tutorial, basic HTML coding, basic website, uh, website design. What was that website? Okay, well, anyway, yes, that's how you create uh, a URL code using your, I mean, using the online QR droid, uh, QR code generator. And if you want to do text right here, you can do that. If you want to do uh, encode a QR code for a phone number, you can do that here. And here is uh, something that you would commonly use, contact. You'd want to put a name in there or phone, email. Um, you better do it on your mobile droid. I mean mobile QR droid because uh, using this it would allow you to transfer your contact information through another phone using just QR codes and also Android app right here in case you want to launch an APK or a package file you could also create that in there geolocation calendar event it's it's all gonna work just using the code right here um, you can save this as a picture file on your gallery so you can show to others so that they can scan that. Or you could also embed that to websites like the one that we just created. We have one like that on the website that we have right here. It says download new to boss app right now. Scan QR code now. You just have to point your phone right here and scan the code. It's going to ask you to download our mobile application where we have our website in there. We have our YouTube account. We have our RSS feed and we have an about, which you can just check all about and follow all about that we're posting on the website and on the YouTube channel. All right, so there you go. That's how you can create a QR code and embed that to your website using the source code that's going to provide you with QRDroid.com. Again, my name is Ty. Please do check out our website, www.newtoboss.com, and please do click some likes in there. And also on our YouTube channel, do visit that and help us make it grow. Please do subscribe, and I'm going to see you back next time. Thanks much for watching.